Hey, love bugs. This is Roz. I'll make it you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family, as always, you know, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the videos just really give you that good vibe that you can truly appreciate please go ahead and give a thumbs up and share it'll be greatly appreciated and since so much love light upliftment that you're truly needing whatever to get you through your days and you know much love to you as well and anybody who's coming in with anything negative is just being sent back to y'all and god ain't even playing with you no more <laughs> everything is protected so we ain't even coming here to tarnish but anyways the video i'm doing today is called twin flame 101 hey okas you're beautifully dangerous your enemies uh need to proceed with caution you're the type of ones that don't come with a warning label it is so true you know if you go and do through different things maybe you're going through healing yourself from you know your past letting go of your past uh being able to see what lessons that need to be learned you know disconnecting from anything that is no longer serving you um or you're being able to see the greatness and all the bad things that you have come to face you know and a lot of times we have to go through it a few a few times you know because a lot of times if, if you notice what kind of um repetitive cycle you're going through if there will be different things you are not learning it will continue to repeat itself and every time you you don't learn from it it's going to get harder and harder every time and there will be times where you know universe knows that gets on your nerves it's like you know what i'm really trying to make my life better i'm really trying to heal from different things but this 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 and this keeps happening and we're using those and they're like we're using these different situations to take place in your life it was fated to happen that way because you needed to learn you, you needed to strengthen yourself you had to be able to see what is being projected towards you. What what are you projecting towards other people? You know, these are the things that was fated to be able to take you towards that next level. And a lot of times you don't even realize because a lot of times we feel like, you know, I'm tired of going through this. Why is every time, you know, I'm facing these things, it, it just feels unbearable? Because number one, you don't realize you've been healing. And you are jumping timelines like it's not crazy. Like it ain't even funny. I said, like it's not crazy. Y'all hold on. Let me sip my tea while I'm spilling it. <laughs> Ascension changes, boy, it got me hot, cold, hot, cold, and it's really getting on my nerves. But you know, you're going through these different things that was very uh, therapeutical, therapeutic, therapeutical. That's gonna be a word today. <laughs> it's very therapeutic that you had to be able to go through. You are learning life lessons through all hardships that's taking place to bring you good graces. And it's like, how are you going to be able to learn where your power truly sits if you didn't have to go down in the down dirty in the trenches like you rolling up sleeves it's time to get your hands dirty you know you are a warrior and for you to be a warrior you ain't going go through that when it's you just confused about what to go left go right and go right to left that that's not going to be your hardship you gonna really go through some stuff to where you had to maybe had to let go of some people that were truly toxic towards your soul and it keeps making you worse you know it's making you a, a, a bad person other than something good into your life or you're going to have to change your way of thinking about what constantly people are doing to you but being able to allow yourself to say you know what I'm grateful for that because it really taught me about myself about what am I allowing to really set free in me am I allowing that to be my truth or I'm allowing myself to create my own truth you know you're going through different things where people are not not going to like the fact that you're changing and healing you know it'll be different things like I have to set example it may be a vibe I want to be able to project out because I'm feeling some type of way because I already know certain certain people watching. And it was just like, you know, don't, don't do that. Don't allow yourself to do that. You know, they all know what they're doing. You know, it be at that vibration where you understand. They understand what they're doing. But this is where you're creating your life better. You know, anytime, anytime you know you're doing something powerful. You Even though you're doing something that may be very controversial. You want to deal with some folks that's going to really try to shut you down. You really gonna do that, and then you gonna have different people where it could be friends, it could be family, it could be lovers, life partners, spouses, whatever, baby mama, baby daddy, where they figure out, oh, they love them from the T. So if I can do this, this is gonna make them do that. If I choose this way, this is gonna make make them act this way, or this that you know this direction is gonna make. Me. And all of a sudden, you switching it up and got everybody broke, busted, and confused. Like, wait a minute, I wasn't expecting that. 
or wait a minute I thought I knew you know people be thinking that they know you better than you know yourself and a lot of times we don't realize we didn't know ourselves and these are the different things we're setting in our lives for us to know ourselves you know you had to be able to go through these things it's like when I see the different things things I've gone through and I could get angry at times because it's like God you really trying to make the old me come out you really are because you know I don't deal with stuff like that. I'll be that type of person. Like if you don't throw shade, if you can't throw hands, because I'll be that type of one. I'm like, let's go to the streets, and then you, you know, you haul it ah in some other way, like a little damn chihuahua with your, your legs put put between your legs. I had to deal with a lot of folks like that, but still be popping off. You know, I'm like, okay, whatever. You know, you do that from a distance. That's all you're gonna do. But it came to that point where I had to know I create my own power within God he's giving me that thing where you creating your own sculpture you already it, it's like you can no longer say I'm a work in progress nah baby you surpassed that a long time ago you are putting finishing touches on that masterpiece that's what you're at you had to be able to change that verbiage within you I was like man I'm a work in progress no you passed that that was three that was three karmics ago and then cutting off different soul ties that was, that was about five years ago. Now it's at that point, you know, been there, done that, you know, fell a couple of times, but then you remember how to get back up, except this time you came back, you know, with a vengeance. You know, you coming out, coming back, come back, come back. And it's every time you fell back, you came back powerful. Every time somebody threw you back to the wolves, you be gone for a minute, and next you come back, you know, and you and you moving with the whole pack like you leading the pack. You changing like different things. Gonna be a lot of times where I've had discussions with y'all, whether it was on you know your comment or your email or we're here on live chat, and it'll be different times like you know, Rosalind, I got this happiness going on, and I try to stop about like, hey, you know, or Harry can delete that. I'm like, Rosalind, why you do that? I said because I feel the vibes that's on here just because they're not you know they ain't associating they're watching they don't even have to know you, and they're trying to block blessings because they're living in misery. They don't have to know you. But it's just the fact is anybody who has something good coming into their life, they will block that. Now, I say if we have a private convo, like we're, you know, we're video chatting or, you know, we're texting one-on-one, -on -one, we can talk about that mess all day. But when you up here on this live, you know, it, even though it's a peaceful vibration of where I can be able to chat with y'all, which I really miss and stuff like that. But it'll be different times where people are just watching just with some really hating ass energy. You know, and there'll be a lot of times, even I forgot what my girl Kay forgot what her IG name is. And she's like, You you know, you could be really on this this project that you are really waiting on. It could be a you know, a dream of a lifetime. And you were just so happy and you were hanging around with friends, but you had that one hating ass spirit that was running around that it, it don't matter who it is, that if it ain't them being happy, nobody else couldn't be. And then all of a sudden you wonder why it fell through, that project fell through, or you just lost interest, or it just didn't, you know, or people just dropped out of it all of a sudden. Just because you let loving energy in on certain things that was not concrete yet and you had he evil energy that came in and intercept that and you I mean there will be a lot of times we really take that personal it's like don't take it personal that person is like if it is not them and if it's not going to be able to connect with them they don't want it happening if they can't be a part of it so you have to be that type of person like I want to see everybody win but it has to be I tell people I want to see you win but seeing you move in some real deceptive way to get that win I'm not going to approve of you know I want you to do it and work like we do you know because there will be a lot of time people put in work to block you know delay stop destroy all that stuff and I said the main energy and I say that a lot because I, I got people that watch me like that why don't you use that same energy to heal yourself you know how much this is what that world this is what our world has a problem with because they feel like everything got to be about them it's so the fact is you don't do something that you don't want done to you and I always tell people that don't do something that's done to you because you can dish it but as soon as somebody's talking, you know, you can't, you, you, you can't take it when it's done back to you. When somebody do it, you on you, and all of a sudden, all hell broke loose. But it was fine when you were doing it to somebody, though. And people get mad when I say that. Oh, I said, oh, they pulled a you on you, huh? And they were like, oh, I don't want to talk about it, right? But that's what it was. He was just showing you when you're mirroring back what you're doing to other people. It don't feel good when people are doing you like that. Common sense is telling you, stop doing things towards other people. You won't want done to you. You know, but people are just like that. But it's at that point, you have to appreciate the problems and the mayhem. It, it really have really 
been placed into your life because this made you a better person. It's either you know, e either your circumstances can make you a better person, or it can make you one of the evilest villains that you know known to mankind. You be the spawn of Satan. There's a lot of them are running around here like that, but it's at that point you are created to make different. You know, you were created to make different, and that made you beautifully dangerous because you've been in those dark moments. You've been in that life where life wasn't worth living no more. You probably tried to take it a couple of times where you didn't want to be here anymore. You had a lot of, uh, what do they call it, in, in, in DEs, you know, a lot of near-death experiences where you are highly connected to the other side of the spiritual world. You have gone through different things that a lot of people were have not surpassed, but yet you were. That's what makes you beautifully dangerous because you've seen both sides and you're friends with both of them. You know, I can look at my sides, you know, where I told people, you know, I used to be very heavy and functioning through smoking weed. I don't judge people for other people to do it. I just don't. You know, people like Roz, you know, how do you know when it's time for me to stop? Will you ask that question? Because when it got to that point where it's not hitting you the way it was or it's starting to be that point where you have to use a, a very large amount of it and it's still, it's a touch and go, you know, or one of those different things or you're having to use an extra alternative to add towards that, you know, where some people are, where it's getting very dangerous now. People are, you know, they're no longer living because they're adding extra stuff that doesn't supposed to be there, you know, got to that point where a lot of times it's just like, are you doing it because it would be me I couldn't handle what was going on in my life because they knew God knew that truth was going to hit me to where it's going to have me doing about 25 of life when he finally hit that to me but it was just like the point where we're going to allow you to <laughs> talk to Bob for a minute Wes Khalifa or whoever Snoop Dogg for a minute and then we're going to let you you know because you, you don't know how to get towards your higher self by not getting high you know you're going through these different things now it's like me and my higher self hey we we very tight we, we two in the one you know and you're going through these things but you had to go through those darkness to be able to be able to be comfortable with projecting your light because your light is going to irritate a lot of people that want to stay in that darkness glow anyway that's what makes you beautifully dangerous you know it would be that one where you change every day. You are not the same person you were yesterday. Anything you know you can improve into your life to create better for you. If you're on that vibe and say, you know what, I do that. You know how many times I can make a video and it'd be about four or five times until I feel like it's right. You know, I want to be able to speak on things, but not speaking on things where I feel like that, that situation or that person or those people hold power over me because they don't. But I also appreciate those things that they taught me by making me move differently. Because it's like, do you want to be like that when you're a person that just not just dead set on not healing? This is what happens when you don't. You know, because Universal put a lot of people in your life where you see where it's just depleting them constantly by not wanting to heal, not want you know wanting to blame everybody else for their problems except the person who created them, which is within self. And you still have to be that type of person. God's telling you not to hate that enemy. You love your enemy. Because there's a lot of them that are not knowing how to heal. So they place different things on you to make sure that they can stop you from doing that. But you're showing them no matter what goes on in my life. If I choose to still heal, who are you to stop me? If I want to be in my, my truth, you can create all the lies you can to be able to dis, you know assassinate my character, run my name through the through the mud it's not gonna matter i'm still gonna be in my truth because i'm not gonna you know i'm not gonna never change my story i'm never gonna change my story i may be able to add some parts to it like oh i never told this part but it's not the fact of me wanting to make stories up this is what i've gone through these are the things that was placed on me to where i moved this way you know that's why i tell people move in silence people don't know where to stop prayers and when you know you're moving on certain things not everybody need to be able to know how you're moving the left hand don't need to know what the right hand doing you know i used to be happy about that where i was like hey i'm taking time for self-care and then wonder why all of a sudden i got hit heavy with spiritual warfare because people were trying to feel, feel out. let me let me see how i can intercept to get into her vibration to make her want to crumble i've had different people put all different type of spells on me you know now it's at that point people are like what is she doing what is she doing i gotta know i gotta you know curious about what i'm doing because you don't know i'm moving through silence you don't know what I'm doing. Just because I ain't making moves, just because I'm posting the moves I'm making don't mean that moves ain't being posted. It ain't being made. You know, if you want to make it feel like, oh, she ain't going nowhere, okay. Are you going to argue with him? No. Are you going to keep doing what you're doing? Yep. <laughs> you know, like, you very, you very dry with it. Yep. And it's like, you ain't going to, mm-mm. 
Even the closest people I have to me, they don't know what moves I'm making. I might tell you what I'm going through, but I'm not telling you the moves I'm making for me to not go through it. It's just, it is what it is. I have to be able to appreciate those things. These are the times where your faith is really being tested. Your patience within yourself, as well as the situation you're being placed in, is really being tested. And when you're allowing yourself to say you're flowing through it, it'll be different times where you got to pray to God. God, please place your love over me because I promise you I'm really about to step out of my bounds within myself. And I feel like I might do something stupid that I'm going to have to sit up here and have about 200 Hail Marys from doing. You know, because right now it's like people are leaving out of your life. There's no longer a being there. There are certain people you're going to have to accept as well as the people other than you are not going to be a part of that journey no matter how bad you want to be a part of that. Or you may be praying on a relationship that God's doing any and everything to tear apart because they know you deserve better. You know, I had to be able to look at different things where I had to understand why I see up here and say any kind of whatever the most powerful bomb, explosives it could have been. That can really do some damage, not just on a on a person or in a center state, but world within a whole. I dodged that dealing with certain people. And like, girl, you dodged a whole tenon bomb, a mazel top cocktail. You done dodged. <laughs> Whew, it made me so glad I didn't move in ignorance the way I did. Because it was like I lived through a life where anything that happened bad to me, I felt like I deserved that. That's all. I can't get nothing better than what I'm dealing with right now. Bullshit. Yes, you can. You deserve so much better and you need to be slapped just because you thought that. You know, you carry a very beautiful energy and people played on that. There was a lot of people that just envy you just because of the connections that you had. Just the way you were gifted with a lot of abilities that a lot of people ain't seen before. And they wanted to destroy that. And now when you see that, you can't destroy something like that with me. Yeah, that was something that was just like, God created that. To, you know, he placed you in a bubble where you're trying to understand. There's so many different things where you don't, you, there was coming tooth and nail to you where you just, you know, you pulled a matrix and you moved back like you were Neo. You know, you don't realize you could be Neo, Morpheus, and the goddamn on Oreo, uh, Oracle all at the same time as an Oreo. But, you know, it's like you the whole swirl within that and don't even realize it until you really take a look back on how many times. You don't know, like 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 a lot of times we can go complaining to God, but a lot of times we give you that smack in reality. Do you know how much I done protected you from? You know, and I mean, when I say stuff like that came real with me a few weeks ago, and you've been with me for a while, you already know what I'm talking about. When I just distantly escaped from, you know, being like I want, but I'll be on back on somebody's milk carton, you know. I really had to deal with stuff to where, you know, I, it really hurt because there was a lot of people that just really didn't care if I lived or died. You know, it would be more happy if I died than I was to live. And I had to be that person that, that I had to be able to be able to sit with that. That's a hurtful feeling where people, you are more valuable towards people. There will be certain people that you are more valuable alive, but there was a lot of people that was in your surroundings. You more valuable dead. And they mad because the fact is it ain't happening that way. You know, and that's something I had to really digest. Like God, that really hurts me. He said, "I know it hurts you, but you won't have to live with that truth. But don't worry about that. I needed you to see that because this is the reason why I told you to stop messing with him, stop messing with her, and stop messing with them. They want you gone. You know, and you don't realize that because your heart won't allow you to see that. Now I had to break your heart to heal your soul. This is what you won't have to deal with." You know, and be those different things. And I had to be able to stay solid in my truth. I had to be able to sit up here and talk about that. Because there was something I didn't want to talk about that for. Because that was hard for me to digest. And God said, speak on it. Speak on it. It ain't about sitting up here trying to out somebody. But it is what it is. Some people are okay with that judgment by assassinating people's character. Because they don't like what kind of vibration they're sitting in. If you know you're doing something good. Not just for yourself, but in for surroundings because you don't know what experience you're going through is going to help somebody else move, um, you know, move through their own silence. Because there's a lot of people that don't have a voice for themselves. And you seeing how a person is going through some stuff, like, I didn't even realize this was supposed to be DV month. You know, you've gone through some different stuff like that. I'm seeing a lot of people are starting to out their karmics right now. And people are like, no, you know, this person lying, this person doing this, this person doing that. And I'm just looking like, oh my God, you got me reliving my whole life where I'm really clear and trying to, you know, cut ways with. But just seeing it, she's like, no, I'm not staying quiet for nothing. No, I couldn't make money in this and this and that unless he was involved in it. Or I couldn't do this for myself unless he was involved in it. Or he had, I had to have his permission. Like, 
You only God's property. You are no. I don't care who you married to, what cooch or you know, scrotum you done came out of. You are only a person of God because God put you there. You are nobody's property. People will be trying to really. I say you don't get it twisted because you ain't nobody. You ain't even your own property. You don't. You know. You don't show that pretend the actions you're making. There's different things like that. We're telling you to speak up for yourself. And I tell people, speak up. This is what I went through. And as soon as I said that, all of a sudden my nose started itching like crazy. Because we find, you know, you going through that point where even you are a victim of circumstances. Don't know you the high honor of what is taking place because you're going to rise above that. You know, even though your predator, you know, that predator, whatever it is, that prey that wants to prey on you. And I'm not talking about prey. I'm talking about prey. They want to sit up here, you know. Be like, you know, Scar in a situation with that with Mufasa just trying to do everything they can to take you away from what is promised to you. They don't want you to talk. They want you to be able to, be, you know, because I've seen how different times where I don't protect it. My person, it was beating me down and doing everything. You know, people coming up, you, you judging me because it wasn't just from them. I was getting it from my mom's ex-husband and his wife at the same time. Especially when stuff started hitting different when my mom passed away. Because they know that was the only one that was protecting her. They did everything in their power before they got to me. They, they made sure they had everybody on their team. They made everybody look at me in the worst way. Like I was just the worst thing in the world. Not realizing you automatically, just because they're grown, you automatically believe what they were saying. Instead of you even getting two sides to the story, you were already convinced. And it just that was hurtful to me. But then it was just like, when you made that choice to believe some goons that was just doing a bold face lie to you be able to come up in the world, I'm going to go ahead and let you be that. And they were like, oh, you need to talk to that person. No, you want me to talk to him? So you already, you, you already be one step ahead. I ain't talking to nobody that chooses you. I'm not. You know, and I had to be in that vibration of that. You ain't going to do nothing for me telling the truth because you want people to believe that lie that you have. And soon... You know, it's going to be that point where, you know, things is going on and the darkness is starting to come out in the light. Left and right because there's so many people starting to out the person that's beating them down or being very abusive abusive to them. You know, they're bringing, and it was sad when I was seeing this stuff because, you know, they bringing their kids into it. Like, your kids shouldn't be able to see this. Because that's why I tell people, you need to get out of stuff like that when you possibly can. Because it's like when you deal with abusers like that, when they know that you ain't got nobody that you can run to. Or nobody where you don't have any kind of financial, any kind of type, you know, financial st stability. Oh, you the best nightmare that they're going to make you. Because they feel like nobody's going to help you. Hell, nobody's going to believe you. I already made sure I had you to myself to be that punching bag, to be that daggone doormat. I'm about to do everything in that power to be able to show you your life will never get better. And not if I have anything to do with it, it will never get better. If I can't be a part of that, it will never get better. If I can't be on top of that and have control over your life, the way it's coming financial, it'll never get better. You have people in your life like that. Speak up. There's too many people losing their lives because they think that person's going to change. I'm going to tell you right now. You know, I wasn't even supposed to make this a video about that, but it had me curving this way. Because there's a lot of people that's going through that. Even men go through it. There's a lot of men that goes around the, this situation where they're dealing with karmics that are toxic. There'll be those women in your life that'll beat you down and be just like, go ahead and tell anybody. Who do you think they're going to believe? A damsel in distress or a daddy in distress? What do you think they're going to believe? I can sit up here and lie and say this and this and that when I'm the, you know, I'm the whole covert and you are the victim. But who are they going to believe? You see the situation that Amber Heard and Daggone Johnny Depp went through. You know, you need to speak up because there's men that go through that too. And a lot of times there'll be women out here that demasculate them or whatever that word is where you make them not feel man enough where they, you just don't make them feel like a man anymore because you done destroyed that or a lot of times there'll be somebody you poke that bear next to you know they poking right back but next to you know you won't be somewhere you know scattered off somewhere it's like oh where's Lisa right there right there parts of her over there it'll be one of those points where the devil's wanting you to react and say you know what not no more no you speak up for yourself no matter how it makes you humiliated or make people second guess you. Because there's a lot of times they will get a crew just to, oh no, they would never do that. Yeah, you know, exactly. And I could sit up here and, and really I was right when, when I heard that woman. If you ain't sleeping with that person, if you ain't married to that person, if you ain't sitting up here got money ties with that person, how would you know? How would you know? 
And I tell anybody, if you date anything that I was connected to, just because I went through it, give them a chance. They're going to put you through the same stuff. And don't ever think when you you going through something and you dealing with somebody who's like that, oh, you know, they're treating life better with that. No, they grooming that person. They just don't know what they they dealing with yet. Don't feel like when they did that to you, trust me, they're doing it to the next one. They just ain't got that time to do it. They're trying to make that person see, like, oh, they're this and this and that. Because they ask you, oh, you know, what's your likes, your dislikes? What's your pet peeves, your wants, your, your needs, what you hate? And they're going to try to make sure that they do all that just to prove they can never be anybody. They made this whole story up. Uh, this is the person that they will never meet. This is the whole person they will never meet. I say, oh, is that person still mad because you still ain't like, become the person that you said you were yet? You know, you have to deal with stuff like that. Speak up for yourself. Don't worry about, you know, what's going on with that next person. Because they're going to bring women all up, men and women all up in their life. They try to create you as being the worst villain. Knowing you are only that person because you figured out everything they were doing. You call them out. Only time I said when you deal with narcissists, it, it'll be a shock in a moment. The only person I know that healed from it had no problem with telling people is that dude. God dog, I forgot that dude's name. He got dreads, a black dude. Where he, you know, he admits he's a narcissist. This is what he did. This is what you gotta look for. I know. I bet many narcissists hate his butt. I guarantee you. Like man, you giving away all the secrets. Stop doing that. You know, cause they got two faces. You know, when they out and about, we're publishing. Though they're the best guy in the world. As soon as they come home. That person is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde or Mrs. Hyde, Mrs. Jekyll. You know, those are the different things you deal with. Because it's just like, I, I mean, I ain't really seen no narcissist that wants to heal except that one. I bet there's pr plenty more out there, but I ain't seen it. But I really appreciate the fact that he outed himself. Because that ain't too many narcissists going to do something like that unless it's some kind of motive. He's doing that. Because I, I seen one that did that, I'm like, oh, that was just a stunt for them. But anyways, I ain't about to make that person so famous. Anybody who know me know exactly who I'm talking about. But it's going through different stuff like that to where it's telling you to stand up for yourself. You beautifully dangerous like that where I've been through some stuff. I done got beat down. You know, I got to the point where people feel like if it's not physical or it's not sexual, it's not abuse. Words still hurt. Those are the things that become that person's inner voice. It really is, and it can make you. It can. It, it, it will make you having poor choices. You deal with people that remind you of that, and I did. You know, I did. It took me a long time. It was just like I felt remedial, and there's nothing about you know trying to make fun of nobody. I'm talking about remedial as a heavy in the re, re because I felt like that's all I deserved. Why do I keep bringing people in my life that always disrespect me, always cheating on me, always doing gutter stuff to try to hurt me because this is what I felt like I had because it's like I didn't have a father in my life my a biological father tried to be in my life and you know my mom's ex-husband did everything he possibly can to block that, even he wasn't even he was a piss poor ass daddy, he was never there, you know he's more of a parent to you know his wife's kids than he ever was to me, but even a dad that wanted to be in my life did anything he possibly could, he blocked that so I did not know what a real man was supposed to feel like because he was never in my my vib vibration to be able to teach me that. I had to find out on my own. You know, having sex at an early age, you know, trying to get some kind of love connection where it was a void there that only me self-loving and me healing was going to be able to take place. You know, and I found all these things out, you know, through a huge tragedy in my life. I had to really grow from that. You know, being able to become better from something that was sent to destroy to me, sent to destroy me many times made me very beautifully dangerous. Anything that's sent to destroy you in your life and all it did is build you up made you beautifully dangerous. You don't come with warning labels like that. Because be a lot of time people will come at you sideways and all you gotta do is look at them up and down. If you really knew my background history, you wouldn't have ever came at me like that. If you already knew the power I had behind me, you wouldn't even be dumb enough to pull that mess like that you know and you'll see that really all a lot of times when you go through different stuff like that where you see how people's you know ego and jealousy and you know bringing all their daggone issues and placing on you like you were the problem when you're actually the solution you know I, I will see people that do stuff like that to me and every single time karma comes back it'll be somebody I know like hey you remember such and such they used to try this with you you know they got caught stealing you know they lost a job and I had to pay all these fines and stuff like that when you kept me for my money 
you know, or this person lost their job, or you know, you try to sit up here and maybe for try to make me for signatures on this, and you end up losing your job because they found out you were stealing from the company because you try to keep money from me. You know, all these different things where people were doing and end up getting, you know, and it'd be like, Rosalind, you're gonna handle it now nah, because if I handle it. I'm going to need bail money. I ain't got enough things in my house that I got to sell and pawn for me to get the heck out of jail because this one's going to be a serious case. I'm going to catch a serious case and it'll be like, they're going to sue dog. That was the, you know, it was like murder was death that they gave me. You know that they're going to solve that he had. Murder was the case that they gave me. You know, be one of those different things. And it's just like, no, I'm not about that life no more because it's just like when you open up to some kind of spiritual worldly power that you have, especially when you have that gift, that any kind of negative you know vibe come to you and you have that powerful transmutation where you can create positive out of that and people don't know that you keep coming towards that person with all that negative vibration and you wonder where you you were sourcing them up you are beaming them up like beam me up scotty they don't realize they're doing it keep doing it would be just like your haters keep doing that come on you do you know you give me all your power anytime somebody always making moves based on what you're doing they don't realize you letting that person live rent free in your head because you moving through emotions insecurities based off of what this person doing they minding their own business they ain't even thinking about you they focus on themselves you making this about you you making this about them I gotta stay up I need to power that person down how can I do it oh let me move this way or let me do this or let me go say this or let me go ahead and put a trap out for that person and you will end up being the one and you wondering why all hell breaking loose in your life you losing the money left and right your life just feels like it's just coming down you created that that person was sent to be able to create good and you try to do all you can to destroy that. God has dripped all into that person whether you want to admit it or not. You playing the fool's role when you keep allowing yourself to intercept in that person's life when they clearly say, Hey, I got boundaries up. I can't deal with you. This is toxic. This is this. You don't know who you're going to be an ambassador or advocate for on something that you have grown from that you came a long way. Like with my situation, I'm really trying to allow myself to heal and grow from that. Things could keep on trying to intercept their self in my life when I clearly don't want them there. Get mad because I speak on different things, but I'm like, it's the truth. And it doesn't stop. You know, and I was told to speak on my truth like that. This is the, that time where there's so many people are going through different things. Where you dealing with these people don't realize, you know, you empath, a warrior, a wounded warrior that's rising above the things that's placed on you to destroy you. You become somebody's greatest nightmare. Like narcissists, they are a greatest nightmare because they try to, they will, you know, they exhaust you. It's just like, dad, do you ever give up? No. If I haven't destroyed you, if I haven't depleted you, and I, you don't see me as your master, your guide, oh my God, praise, praise, all hell, narcissist. You don't do that, uh, they ain't finished with you yet, because they want you dumb. <clears throat> they want you to go in, but everything that they say is Bible. You can't get anybody better than you, them, because, oh, they must want me, because they don't want to get rid of me. No, because they know you deserve better. That they, They're keeping you because they like you. They're keeping you because the fact is, when they know you're a good person, they know you may slip up and find some person that's going to be receptive to what you've been trying to get that fool or that fool. You know, for many years, this person going to know what they got when they see you, and they're going to cuff you. Like, nah, man, well, I don't know what they've been doing, but I've been looking for, I've been, you on somebody's prayer board. You on somebody's prayer list. That's the reason why they don't want to let go of you, because they know they ain't about nothing. They know that. They ain't going to admit to it, but they already know that. They a lot of nobodies to a lot of nobodies. Or well, not, you know, not, not a nobodies, but they are a lot of nobodies to a lot of somebodies. And it's like everything, that's why I was just at that point where people want to fight me over. I'm like, look, I ain't fighting over no man that ain't my man. Because if he was good enough to sit up here and his weakness is that down there below, oh, you, he want my man and he ain't going to be yours either. What are we going to be like? Baby, you know, we the both side chicks to the main chicks. Hey, he cheating on us or hey, she cheating on us. You know, what am I going to be about that? You know how stupid that looks? I'm not trying to be a part of super, sister wives. I'm not about to do that. You know, I want to be that person where you already know what you got when you got it. And you ain't going to do nothing to sit up here and jeopardize that. That's the type of person I want in my life. That's not it. So if you want that, I'm like, baby, you just ain't lived that yet or he ain't you know, trapped you in that vibration yet. Don't worry, he is. You know, I'm um, being all those things. I'm like, good, you can have it. You know, try to make me jealous. No, that's not making me jealous, but it's actually giving me a a a, a, a risk fee. <laughs> you know, break because that means you somebody else is catering to that, and they don't even know what they're doing. 
But I'm okay. I love that. I love my peace and quiet. You know, it gives me time to focus on me. And I appreciate that. That's what made me beautifully dangerous because I allow myself to know. This is something that created the best of me because this showed me this is what, you know, when you have to be with somebody that just doesn't appreciate you in all forms, just dog you, disrespect you, and it's like you can be everything up under the sun. You know, it'll be certain things where you, you try, certain things that really push you out of your comfort zone or less self-respect for yourself because nobody who truly love you is not going to ask you to sacrifice your peace, your happiness, your love for self, and your self-worth. They're not going to ask you to do that, especially if you're that type of person. I brought other people in the bed to try to make them happy. This and that, you have to understand that no matter what you do for that person, they're not going to be satisfied no matter what it is unless it's always you know they always want to be able to run over you and they want to be even when you know they're lying and you can be you can have the truth all there and they're still going to be like nope it wasn't me <laughs> be like Shay, it's shaggy it wasn't me you know you have those different things in your life and a lot of times those people are sitting in your life to show you this is not what you want this is not what you need into your life. Or a lot of wrong persons will teach you the right lessons. And that's why I appreciate all the people in my life that did me wrong like that. Because they know there was somebody out there who was going to treat me right. But for me to be able to do that, I had to have love for self. That's why I tell anybody who finally broke up out of their situation, I'll tell you, you are highly blessed if you ever get away from a toxic person. Okay? Mine is just like... <laughs> <laughs> this is like Freddy Krueger and there go Michael Myers. This is, don't never die. He don't ever keeps coming back. You know. But it was those different things. Where I'm still going through my life lessons, and I could be able to appreciate them all the time when I'm not in that vibration of ready to be New Jersey headhunter. But just being able to say, I always tell people, if you got that money, you got that mindset. Well, you gotta have that mindset to be able to understand. You cannot make a person like that change. They have to be wanting to. It can't be on you. It has to be in you. You know, you have to be that person. You are beautifully dangerous. You can rise above that. But until then, you're going to keep going through these situations where it makes you feel like I cannot get away from this person. You be in a situation where you know you have the money to move on. Do that. Don't stay away th thinking this person going to change because it's not. You wait, you putting your life on hold when you can have so much better things. Let that person meet you. You know, if it's meant for me and you to be back together and you actually change, and I mean change for the better, not changing up where you trying to have a new game up. Because a lot of times they only switch on lovers because they that one already done figured them out. So they got to bring in another one. You ain't the only one they're dealing with. It's multiples. They got some on standby. Trust and believe. It will be that one that's going through those vibrations. But then when you allow yourself to cut yourself out of that equation, like I deserve better in my life. I know I deserve better. I need to be able to see better, look better. And I'm moving in love. I'm not moving in anything that's going to make them jealous because you already know it don't take much to be be jealous. You could be talking to your boss about something. All of a sudden, you you know, you're trying to hit it. You know, you're all trying to find a call. You know, why are you talking to your boss? Why are you doing this? You know, why is that person? You know, you, you are dealing with somebody who has no backbone, no self-esteem, anything. You are make, you have to go through the most stupidest things to make that person feel loved and you're still going through it. You know, I had to go through it. I even seen my mom, the ex-husband, going through it. This this is not belt on love. This is based on control. There's a lot of people that are dealing with people just because they got something hanging over their head. Or oh, if you don't do this, I'm going to go tell them this. And it'll be that point like, you know what? Let me go ahead and tell this person they may be mad at me. They may be wanting to fight. Or even maybe get me locked up. But at least I'm not going to have this person controlling my life, making my life a living hell. Because you want to be able to tell some stuff. And you know telling with you, you probably add a couple more things to it to really make me look bad. Let me go ahead and tell the truth. That's why I always say, they already know with my situation. They know a lot. And they choose not to say nothing. And if it's somebody else that got to tell me, because it's already a done deal anyway. But you, you know I deserve that. And you can't do that. And if God ends up having to do it, it's going to make it worse. Because they already know they gave you that opportunity to be truthful. That's why you, your life going through hell now. Because you're living a lie. And you keep doing it that way. And it's depleting you. It's destroying you. Everything you're doing is going to shit. You know. But these are those things that make you beautifully dangerous. Because even though you can be at the bottom the pit, you can always rise from that. You have to make that choice to want to do that. You have to make that choice to want to do that. Because it's at that time where you can understand like, God, I deserve better. You don't have sleepless nights. Anything where you're being in a relationship where you got to check emails, text messages. Try to see if that fool, if a female or a fool of a man got extra phones and, you know, dummy emails, dummy accounts and stuff like that. You got to go through all that. You don't need to be with a person like that. If you got to give excuses for their toxicity, you don't need to be with anybody like that. 
That's why I say I'm so glad I'm celibate. I don't submit to nobody. I only <laughs> worship God. You know, being able to be one with myself and knowing my, myself is a temple. You know, I see how hardness in life can be. Because I notice a lot of times, I don't know what it is. We don't found a fountain of youth. We can go through the hellish situations. But the more we heal, I notice that it starts making us look younger. The people that are trying to deplete us doing stuff like that, it's aging them rapidly. And I see that and I'm like, good God almighty shit. Woo! <laughs> That's scary! You know, and I'm just like, this is what happens when you live in a hard life, my mom used to say, "God, dog, how you been? How long you been walking on water without your shoes? That that's that's ten miles of bad road. What are you doing? You know, be different stuff like that. They ain't trying to talk about nobody, but it's just when you start selling your soul and stuff like that, that mess ages you at times. It just depends on what you're doing. When you know you live living hard, that it'll start showing up in your in you know right here in the exterior, you know, and those different things. But you make it beautifully dangerous. You don't come with a warning label because you've been there." When you went through the darkness of the darkest, I'm telling you, when you rise above stuff like that, that makes you brutal. Because there'll be different times people going to come at you and like, man, that would have hurt me. Yeah, that would have hurt me too if I wasn't healed, if I don't know about myself. You know, this person said this and this about you. And I'm like, oh, they did. But the question is, why do they feel so comfortable with telling you in the first place? What have you said about me for that person to feel comfortable enough to talk about me? Because I know real recognize real when fake walk in the room. Because if I know I have your back, I'm going to tell you, oh, you may hear something to something about that, but I already handled that. What? You are, it's like, oh, or somebody come in. I said, oh, yeah, that did happen. I already handled that. Because they said that in front of me, and I, I checked them at the front door. I do that any time. You know, I had to be like that a couple of times when someone would sit up here and say something about my daddy. I had to put their ass in check real quick. Don't make me come where you at. I can spiritually connect with you in a way that you don't know how. It will leave you in a world of confusion. Watch what the hell you say. <laughs> I was like, watch what you say. You know, I've been that way. But it's at that time where I hold respect. Things to me, that things, it could be things, it could be people. It's just a vibration, really. Is I'm, I go to mama bear when it comes to stuff like that. But it'll be also, well, I, you know, I'll even show my, my behind to a certain extent when it comes to, you know, like I deal with, you know, that, that low vibration. It'd be different things. Just, you know, you want to react? No, that's what they're waiting for. You, you, they're trying to trigger you. You can't trigger something that ain't there no more. But it allowed me to know this. If it's still triggering me, they're showing me right there. That's what I need to heal from. It's right where I need to heal from. That's why I need patience from. And that's exactly why, the reason why I keep dealing with it. Because if that is really pissing me off, this is something I had to heal from. But you have to know any person that chooses not to heal, you can mind your business and you're moving in positivity, you're healing, you're seeing everything as a learning experience to be able to create better. You are gonna become you become that walking trigger. Cause I see it. I could be sitting here doing my videos and it'll make people mad. If I have blessings to come in and monetary value, people get mad. Why did you tell me? Oh, so you can block it? Why the heck why would you? Oh, I got some money coming in 3.9 milliseconds. Uh-uh, no, you won't. You want anything? No, I'm not going to buy it for you. You know, deal with stupid stuff like that. You know, I had to learn from all those lessons. Move in silence. And even there be in the times where you might be in a soul not situation. I ain't say soul ties, soul not. Because your soul not going to continue to deal with something like that. Because it's irritating your soul. And the more you allow yourself to be atoned to that, the more it's going to keep on getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And those things are telling you, you have to let go. See this situation as a learning experience. You don't want to be one of those type of people where they're having a, a you know a memorial for you. There's a lot of different things in this world where if you're able to make it out that storm of dealing with somebody very dangerously toxic and you're dangerously healing, you are going to be protected. But you have to want to be able to do that. Don't allow somebody to keep constantly telling you, oh, it's not going to get any better. People are going to see your scars and they're not going to want you. You know, to do any kind of mind freak I'm trying to not say the other word a freak to be able to make you see like oh your scars they, they're going to talk about you they're going to point you out they want to do anything and everything to know because you are going to find somebody who's going to treat you a lot better than what this is this is showing you you're becoming dangerously beautiful when you know where you came from and know where you've been and you're not ashamed of none of it like you have your darkness and your lightness and all of them is still best friends with you you know, you know your enemies and your, you, you know your enemies, but you, some of them you don't, but you know your demons by names. And they're okay. You know, you're going through these things. That makes you dangerous where you can be out here and just like, you know, I've been there. I've done that. I went to hell. Frequent flyer miles where they're owing me many vacations. It's coming out of the yin yang. You know, 
and I'm still okay. I don't went through this, but check this out. This is how I came. When you showing that antidote, that's where you start pissing the devil off nonstop because you showing what you, uh, you what you have overcome, what you have conquered, what you are thriving off of. Because this showed you if you can overdo this, if you can overturn that, if you can overcome this, you can conquer that. Tell you showing so many people they can do it if they want to. It's not going to be easy, but victory is promised. They never said what they were going to do was promised not to be easy, but that victory is. So you keep going, you keep thriving and being able to look back in your life, not to be able to, you know, keep on looking at the past, but look how far you have overcome. You are not the person that entered this storm. Because when you come out, they don't have creating a storm. I said, shoot, it was funny to me. Well, it wasn't funny to me. Let me, not, let me take that back. Because it was the other day when I just felt like, you know what, I'm getting out of the storm. I'm becoming my own storm. And next, you know, I look at the phone. And then they said, Hurricane Rosal. And I said, you know, I showed this to a friend. I said, you know, this is messed up when you have a whole hurricane named after you. And I was just like, this is messed up. And I just sat up here and said, I'm going to become my own storm. And next, you know, I see that. So I'm like, God, it's not, no, no kind of disrespect towards anybody who went through that. And I think it was in Mexico or New Mexico. And and God bless anybody who had to go through that. But it was just like when I said that, that really hit volumes for me. Like, God, dog, you know, I'm being in a storm. I'll become my own storm. You're going to be that something that's fierce. You know, you're going to be this and this and that. Just talking life into my life. Like, you're going to overcome this. You are overcoming it every single time you decide to wake up today and I say, I'm going to be different. I'm going to speak different. I'm going to move different. I'm going to talk different. All these different things. And then that, something that, like that pops up. But you don't know. That's why they say, why do you think all these are going disasters is where it's clearing away a lot of stuff? Why is it named after people? That lets you know you are more powerful than you ever realized. Don't whatever negative talk is trying to get you in that wants you to dwell off all over on your past and your mistakes and what people said to hurt you and what people did to block you. Nah. Use that as the exact tool to overcome that so that can be just a, a stepping stone that you have got in your life. Because they always tell you, your enemies are your stepping stones going to create better for you. They are being placed in your life for you to be able to say, this is not going to be my life. You know, whatever lies you speak over my life, any damnation or what you're trying to destroy is not being spoke over my life. Love is being spoken to my life. Strength. You know, gratitude, power, you know, all these beautiful things that is coming in my life makes me beautifully dangerous. And it also does the same thing to you. You're going through these things to help you learn and help you conquer. Don't allow anybody to let you think any less of yourself. Because when they do, they're only showing how they think less of their own. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. I want to give a post notification shout out to... Um, uh, woman awoke much love to you welcome to the fam Adonis I always love that, that that name um and Dusty Grimes much love to you as well and thanks for all the comments that you are dropped if you are new to the channel please drop a line I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me you know we're all learning um learning from each other learning and growing and healing so it's just I always leave my contact information in the description box below you know shoot me an email you know there will be a lot of different things where people are telling me the different things that they're going through and you know what they really just want insight on like hey you know Roz I'm going through this you understand like you know God gives me the info to be able to pass on to you I'm glad to be able to do that whatever we speak on is confidential so you know I'll be able to help out the best way I can you know I always leave my, my podcast as well as my different memes and stuff like I had of all my community section even if you go to my shorts there'll be different things that I'll leave out this hella funny or as well as very inspirational even prayers or even uh, a couple of seconds of uh, meditation that you may need to you know create balance into your life as well so you know just being able to help uplift you in that way also you know if you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation in the you know towards the channel you know uh, cash app is there as always you know whatever vibration you're needing into your life whether it is patience motivation determination you know motivation whatever you know I'm sending that towards your way two million times full you know know your light knowing your you know your strength within your life is strict you know even your powerful potential you know the devil and your enemies will do everything to doubt that place doubt on you because you can be having you know they make you give up today just because they know five doors and a side you know a slide door and a you know window and a roof is about to come open for you with all type of abundance so you know have a blessed safe weekend please be responsible and safe for every single thing you do and you will see me on my next video much love namaste god bless shalom and namaste well i said namaste shalom i say peace <laughs> bye